Now let's describe this in spherical coordinates. Sure, what do I have? I have y squared plus z squared is smaller than or equal to 4. Sure. And also we want to fix the plane that x is equal to 0. If we were to take a look at this, if we were to take a look at this in rectangular coordinates, in rectangular coordinates, <coughs> x, y, and z, what you see is in your yz plane, you have a circle, a circle of radius 2. That's in your yz plane. A circle of radius 2. Minus 2 there, positive 2 there, positive 2 there, minus 2 there. And it's a circle. Apparently 2 wasn't that far away over here. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, and that's uh, your restrictions. Well, now, in the rectangular world, that doesn't happen to x. Sure. So this is actually a cylinder coming out and down x. But we have the restriction that x has to be 0. That's the intersection of this cylinder and the zy plane. So what we're going to have here is a solid disk, a solid disk, and it includes the endpoints because of the equals to. So now that we've drawn it in rectangular, our goals and objectives were to describe it spherically. Mm -hmm. So then let's take a look at this spherically thing. There is a restriction. <clears throat> we need a restriction on theta. We need a restriction on theta. Theta is the direction from the positive x-axis in the counterclockwise orientation. Here we see theta has to be pi over 2, okay? So it has to be fixed at a pi over 2 rotation from the positive x-axis. Why? Because in the rectangular world, x is 0. How does that translate into spherical? Theta is pi over 2. Sure. Now let's talk about our, wow, let's talk about our uh, phi. Can phi fall forward? Can phi fall backwards? Phi. My phi could be this angle here. My phi could be this angle over here. My phi can be anything in between 0 and 360. Okay? Okay. So my phi going to be in between 0 and 360 or 2 pi. Phi gets to rotate all the way around. Now, because this is a, a solid disk, had this been an or equal to, it would have been a circle, and we wouldn't have had the inside. Had this been a just strictly less than, then we would have a, a dotted boundary. Um, but because it's smaller than or equal to, phi can be phi, pho, phum, rho. Rho can be anything between 0 and 2. So that's our restrictions on rho. Rho is anything between 0. Yeah, include it, and 2. So if we were going to describe this inequality from rectangular into spherical, we'd do it with the three constraints on the parameters of our function. <laughs>